Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be doing some freestyle kind of wispy effect resin coasters. So let's jump in and get started. Off camera, I added about one ounce of clear to each of my coaster molds here. Just enough clear to fill up the mold halfway. These molds are not very deep, so they don't take a ton of resin. I got them off Amazon. I'll link them down below if you want to check them out. And today I'm using the Platinum 360 resin from Laura's Art Corner. It sets up in about 20 minutes after you mix it. So if you use this resin, you kind of want to mix it and start pouring right away. So the pigments I'm using are Pink Interference from Let's Resin, Black Pearl Mica Powder from Laura's Art Corner, and Angel White Epoxy Paste. And I went ahead and mixed up my resin and my pigments off camera, but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step-by-step -step how I do that, I will link one of those down below. Be sure to go check it out. Um, I show you step-by-step -step how I mix my resin and my pigments. So I just went in and drizzled in some of that um, interference pink, some of that black pearl, and now I'm going in with the angel white epoxy paste. And this pigment is very opaque. You don't want to add a ton of it because it will take over. I was going in with just a little bit of the white compared to the other colors. And that's it. I just drizzled on some lines. I'm going to let it sit. This is 40 minutes later, you can see the resin kind of leveled out and gave me some wispy effects. I'm just going to go in with a silicone paintbrush and just do some fun little swirly designs. I'm just working on the surface of the resin. I'm not pushing down to the bottom of my mold here, only working on the surface of the resin. And I know my paintbrush looks a little bit crusty, but it still works. I'm one of those people... I don't throw stuff away until I absolutely cannot use it anymore. So I know it's not the prettiest, but it still gets the job done. So I, I'm still going to keep using it. But I will link these paintbrushes down below. You can get them off Amazon. They're great for projects like this. I let them sit overnight. This is the next day. I'm going to go in with some super pretty pink glitter, also from Laura's Art Corner. And I'm just going to fill the molds up the rest of the way. You can see how pretty and wispy it was looking already. This technique is so easy. I hope you guys give it a try. You can get real creative with it and do a lot of different color combinations. Um, this one was actually a custom order and um, I was trying to recreate a set of coasters that I had made previously. And um, with resin, you know, you can kind of try to recreate it. They, it never turns out 100% the same as it did the first time, but I gave it a try and I think they turned out really, really gorgeous. I'm just taking my little stir stick, smoothing out that glitter, making sure that everything is covered and there's coverage of that glitter all over the mold and let it dry. Here we are ready to demold it. I was really excited to see how these turned out. I just love this color combination together. I think they turned out so pretty. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. It's a really fun, easy technique. Great for beginners. And you can see that interference pink in there. Super pretty with the black and the white. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. And I'll be sure to link all the materials I used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. So if you guys want to get any of these products to try, you can get a little bit of extra savings. And let me know down in the comments what colors I should do next. I hadn't done this technique in a while and I forgot how much I really love this technique. I just love how soft and pretty and wispy these coasters turned out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate you all. I hope you're all doing wonderful and I will see you soon for another video. Bye guys.